when you're doing birds though, I have used a lot of color on my birds. Boy, if uh, partly artistic license, partly because most birds, I mean, if you get the light hitting on them just right, oh my gosh, all the colors that show up in that bird are amazing. So here I'm putting on this color. And you can see why I tell you not to use your best brushes for doing this. Boy, this does look a lot more jade when you put it on. Okay, see how that looks. I like that. This was the jade color that I think is beautiful. This was the maroon color. And now I'm gonna show you what the white looks like. I'm not gonna do a bunch of colors. Uh, you don't need to sit here and watch me paint. But um, this one is really thick or, yeah, I need to, okay, let me just go like this. I'm just gonna pull some off here. Any port in a storm, huh? Okay, I'll just take that. I need to water this one down. I need to, actually what I should do is go through all of these. They're pretty old. Anyhow. Taking some of this color back and forth, always like before, it's pretty thick. And you can see, now you might like that look. And for the certain things, it might be beautiful. It doesn't always work for me. So there is what the white looks like. It is actually, this is an antique white. I don't like that though. White, white is, ooh, it knocks your eyeballs out. I use that for doing the eyes on them, on the pieces and stuff like that, but I don't use it normally for my sculptures. Uh, actually, I don't use these light colors hardly at all. It's not the look I'm going for, and but that's me. Uh, I want you to be, uh, remember, I want you to find your own voice. I want you to decide what you like and try it. Hey Curious Mondo fans, thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out the other videos in the channel for some fabulous tips, techniques, and interviews with artists.